Welcome to the Rusted Garden. For 2016, I'm going to profile all the tomatoes that I'm growing as they begin to mature. And these, these are really uh, dwarf tomatoes. So I want to start with those. I have the Tiny Tim, Red Robin, and Microtoma. Let me just tell you a little bit about them. First of all, when you read about dwarf tomatoes, they're going to say anywhere from 6 to 12 inches tall. That's a foot right to here. So that'll just give you some idea. The size does vary a little bit. I think depends on the kind of container you're growing it in, how much you feed them, but they're all dwarf variety determinate tomatoes and they're going to get somewhere between, I don't know, 6 to really 15 inches tall. But they stay nice and small. Flower box, mid-sized container, small container, you can grow dwarf tomatoes in those types of containers. This is the Tiny Tim over here and it's actually one plant that I have in each area. They're very dense. All the dwarf tomatoes are really dense, so you have to get in there, look for the cherry tomatoes. I think there's even one. No, that's just the stem. But here's what the tomatoes look like. They'll vary in size. And they are actually sweet, and they're, they're really good. I was surprised. I thought maybe you gave up a little bit in flavor for all of these based on, you know, the size of the tomato, but you don't, and you get a lot of them. The Tiny Tim is a plant that was introduced in 1946. It gets up to 12 inches tall. These have been growing since 229 from seed. I think I got them out in the ground about 60 days ago. What's that, about 11 inches tall? They take 45 days to mature from transplant, and that's not 100% accurate either because today is July 3rd. I put these into the ground probably the beginning of May, so it's been 60 days. They've been producing. I've been getting tomatoes out of there. But don't get so fixed on the maturity date. Maturity dates vary. Sometimes it's from when you drop the seed. Sometimes it's from when you transplant it. And most of the time it's from when you actually transplant it. And the temperatures outdoors are the temperatures tomatoes like. You can put a tomato out early and it's cold, it's not going to grow. So that 14, 21 days that it's sitting in cold, it's not going to grow. So you're not going to get your tomato any quicker. This is the Micro Tom, single plants in each of these. And again, dense foliage, you got to get in there, find the tomatoes and pick them out. I grew these last year and you want to make sure you get in and harvest them because if they're hidden down inside here, a lot of times they crack insects come in and you just don't see them but always look through your plants micro toms and the micro tom will get six to eight inches tall it says and that's about nine ten inches right there half an ounce fruit all cherry types and the size of the fruits vary like i'm not going to be like one inch half an inch one ounce half an ounce but they vary these came out of the University of Florida, and from seed to maturity, supposed to be 88 days. Now the final tomato is the Red Robin. I really like this one. It's a little bit bigger. It will get anywhere from 12 to 15 inches tall. This one is not even quite 12 inches. Again, the size is going to vary based on how you're growing it. And then these are the bigger cherry tomatoes. They taste really good. Here's one that cracks. So you always want to make sure you're looking in there. Now for... Well, that won't come up. There you go. And you can just see all the tomatoes in there. They're really, really packed with cherry tomatoes. All the dwarf varieties. So it's worth growing. Now there's two kind of red, red robins. There's a hybrid that gets about six inches tall. And then there's the variety that I have that is supposed to get anywhere from 10 to 15 inches tall. And just for the planting, these were started February 29th, transplanted into cups in my house on 4-1, and then they went outside early, 4-16. You know, I just kept an eye on them to make sure that they uh, didn't get frost or anything like that. So as of July 3rd, this has been producing for about a week. And you can do the math to figure out how long it's growing, but it looks pretty healthy. Again, all determined variety tomatoes. Once they finish flowering, the fruit sets, these are going to die back and really stop producing. Hope you enjoyed the video, and it gives you some idea of the dwarf varieties you can grow in containers. They do taste good. They do have a sugar flavor. They do have that tomato taste to it. None of these were watery. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. And also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.